back to the channel. Today I am talking about the books and the manga that I am currently reading and that I plan on finishing in the month of May. This is just going to be a quick video because I thought I should update you guys and also announce an upcoming read-along that I'm going to be hosting. It's going to be taking place on my Discord server, but it's a secret. I want to officially announce it in its own video. But first, make sure to like and subscribe. It's free and it helps out a lot. One of the manga series that I've been recommended the most is Berserk. This is volume one of the deluxe edition. Now this is not a series I was expecting to read and I was definitely not expecting to like it. I tried reading Berserk before and it just seemed way too dark for me. I've also heard of some things that happen later on in the series that kind of turned me off from reading it, if I'm being honest. But a lot of you guys have recommended it to me, so I gave it a second chance. And wow, I have been really enjoying it. I've only got the Guardians of Desire part like five and six left, so I'm almost finished it. And then I am going to review it. I know a lot of you have been wanting me to review manga on the channel. I have been wanting to review manga on the channel. So I'm going to be reviewing Berserk as well as One Piece, which I'll, I'll talk about in a little bit. Now that I'm giving it an honest second chance, I'm realizing that Guts has a lot more depth to him than I originally thought. Thought. I thought he was pretty emotionless and cruel and just not really a character that I want to read But there's a lot of depth to him and you can see that subtly start to show itself So obviously I judged it way too early the first time I read it So I'm glad that I gave it a second chance and I can't wait to read through this series and experience it for the first time I'm gonna be making reviews for each arc of Berserk So make sure to watch out for that and of course this beautiful deluxe edition is the way to go if you're gonna be reading Berserk now completely switch Switching tones, I'm going to be talking about a middle grade series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. Some of you were surprised to see that I put this on my top 10 fantasy series list, and I decided with the upcoming Disney Plus adaptation, I want to reread it. And I decided I wanted to read it with you guys. I'm already like 12 chapters into it, but I decided, you know what, let's make this into a read along so that we can read it together. I'll have another video up soon with more details on how you can join the read along as well as a schedule for it and all of that. Now, this is a series that I'm very nostalgic for, but it's also one that I think any age group can enjoy. I'm already surprised at how well it holds up. I'm really enjoying reading this book, and I can't wait to read it with you guys. I have had a few failed read-alongs in the past because I tried doing these big discussion posts and I was way too busy. That's not going to happen this time. It's just going to be open discussions, there's going to be trivia nights and stuff, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we will complete this read-along this time. I also plan on reading more One Piece this month. Now, I mentioned reviewing One Piece last year, and I never ended up doing it. I was too worried about how manga videos would do on my channel, but I decided, you know what, I just want to review it anyway, because I am loving One Piece. I've read up to chapter 130, so I'm going to have to go back and just start from the beginning and review it all the way through, arc by arc, and then I'll probably end up reviewing each saga as well. If you would like to see some One Piece content and just manga content in general on the channel, then please let me know in the comments. But either way, I'm gonna follow through and review the manga that I've been reading before I get too far ahead. So it is May, Star Wars month, and I have been reading Heir to the Empire by Timothy Zahn. This is book one in the original Thrawn trilogy. A lot of people get it mixed up with the new Thrawn trilogy. This is the original trilogy that was part of the expanded universe and it's now considered Star Wars Legends. Even if it's no longer canon, I still think a lot of the Expanded Universe books are worth a read, as long as the story's interesting and the characters make sense, and Heir to the Empire is probably the best Star Wars book that I've read. I've only got like 50 pages left, so by the time this video is up, I'm going to be finished this book, and I would highly recommend it. Heir to the Empire takes place five years after the Death Star was destroyed and Darth Vader and the Emperor were defeated. The galaxy is struggling to heal the wounds of war. Princess Leia and Han Solo are married and expecting twins, and Luke Skywalker has become the first in a long-awaited line of new Jedi Knights. But thousands of light years away, the last of the Empire's warlords, the brilliant and deadly Grand Admiral Thrawn, has taken command of the shattered Imperial fleet. He's made some discoveries that could destroy everything the Rebel Alliance has fought so hard to create. 
Honestly, Thrawn is an incredible antagonist. He's actually one of my favorite characters in Star Wars. Now, I would also recommend the new Thrawn books. Those ones are great as well, and they're considered canon, but you shouldn't overlook the originals. Mara Jade is another awesome character that first appeared in Heir to the Empire, and has become a favorite of many Star Wars fans. Personally, I find her much more interesting than Rey. Mara Jade has been around for longer than the prequels, and the fact that she's not included in the Disney canon so far is seen by a great many people, including myself, as a travesty that hopefully will be corrected in the future. This book is what I think the seventh movie should have been. I, along with almost everyone, was disappointed in the sequels. I feel like it had its moments, but overall it was very disappointing. And it broke a lot of the rules that Star Wars already set down. I'm not going to get into all of that, but Heir to the Empire I think would have made a much better seventh movie. But now, of course that's not possible. The age differences for the characters is just too much, but I still think that they should make an animated series of the Thrawn trilogy, of the original Thrawn trilogy. I would love to see Luke Skywalker and Mara Jade be animated, and I know there's that one specific voice actor who could definitely pull off Luke Skywalker. Now this is the 20th anniversary edition. It has annotations by the author, it has a brand new Thrawn novella. However, I would almost always recommend the Star Wars audiobooks over reading the physical books because they got all the sound effects, lightsabers, droids, blasters, all that stuff, and it just feels way more immersive. It feels like you're listening to a movie, and I just think it's the perfect way to experience these books. But if you're not into audiobooks, then the 20th anniversary edition is the way to go. Like I said, I'll be finished this book by the time you're watching this video, and I plan on making a review for it later this month. And finally, I need to get back into the Wheel of Time. If you watched my top 10 fantasy series video, you know that I've read up to book 6, and I need to get back into reading it because it's been a while, and I decided that my best way to go about this is probably to listen to the audiobooks. I have been loving the Wheel of Time so far. I've just allowed too many distractions to take me away from finishing the series. I know I'm just approaching the slog, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but I'm gonna push through. So those are all the books and the manga that I plan on reading in the month of May. Let me know in the comments what series you're currently reading. Also, I wasn't saying that I'm going to finish One Piece or finish Berserk in May. That would be, that would be pretty difficult. I'm just gonna be reading as much as I can. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Now I have a quick announcement to make. I'm opening up my Etsy shop again for a limited time, and all the bookmarks I'm selling on there have a limited stock, so they're not gonna be around forever. If you happen to be a member on my Patreon, then you will get a 15% off coupon that you can use on anything in the shop. Anyways, a link to that will be in the description.